Hey guys, Super Paper Scorpio. Welcome back to World Star Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we got down here to sub level 12, which appears to be a Nirvana floor. I think. From the looks of it, now that I saw it. Here's a good beetle! Here's a good beetle! He has treasure, he has treasure. We gotta kill him, we gotta kill him, we gotta kill him! We gotta kill things! Oh, there's our gyro block. Let's carry our gyro block back. That's gonna be the reoccurring thing in this dungeon, by the way, guys. The gyro blocks, they will be showing up a lot in this dungeon. So, be wary, whoever really wanted to care. And I think this is the lemon, not the lemon, the something gyro block. The lost gyro block of blockiness. It's actually it for this sub level, so I don't know why the, what the freaking point of that was. But yeah, last episode we we lost our little friend Olimar. Now the boss. Thank God there is only a few more sub levels total left in the game, and there is a poop beetle. Yeah, go ahead, fart. He, he farted on a thing. I don't know. Hey, hey. Don't come towards me. Thank you. Never mind. Stop coming towards me. Okay, there we go. They're all flowered like we need to do, and he just buried, ran into the ground. Uh, what's... Wow, big build-up for absolutely nothing much. Alright, so that was a Nirvana floor. I think that's the final one for this dungeon. sub 13 and 14, if I remember right, are difficult. Difficult, yeah. Two separate words to make one difficult. Okay. Sub-level 13. This is a difficult sub-level, if I remember right. So, let's hope for the best. First of all, um, or not, or we, actually, yes, yeah, now I remember, this is not gonna turn out being good, this is gonna be nowhere near good, <sighs> okay, looks like we got this guy, hey, hey, come on, Get up under him! Kill him! Alright, quickly call back. Uh, there are multiple ways to battle the man at legs yet again. Hide behind things like we did before. Oh, I forgot he fires twice! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, bosses. Same as usual. He's gonna wander over by us. This is going to be a potentially long battle. Oh. He can go right up there and, and, and walk around! What? This is what I meant, by the way, guys, when I said that you can battle him in different settings. I think they added an extra animation there for him. Alright, alright, alright. Why are there two that are unflowered? Uh, I just flowered them all. They are not going to do that. Because that is dangerous. Uh, yes. It's gonna be a long battle. Very long battle. Most likely not very safe, but throw our Pikmin up there. See how much damage we can do. Quickly, 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 quickly! Holy Jesus! Quickly, get back! Quickly, get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back. Hide! 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 Laser! 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 He only killed like four Pikmin. We actually did a decent amount of damage there. <sighs> I'm scared. Someone hold me. Alright, calm back. Let's get out of the way so we can pull out his missiles. Oh god! He no, he can't hit us. Wait, yeah, yeah, wait. I I'm lost! I'm lost! Anyway, man at legs, same battle as before, and he was aiming at my other Pikmin. What a douche. And we've lost a couple more than I thought there, didn't we? Um, yeah, same battle as before. Uh, about at half health now, losing more. Quickly, get out of the way! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! No! No! Pikmin! 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 
you're gonna trust me. You're gonna be trusty with me. You can learn. You can learn from the middle. Legs only. Jeez. Oh my god. Maybe we can do more damage. Nope. Not enough to kill him. At least. Don't. Nope, nope, nope. You leave, you stay. You do not kill me. We are not losing more Pikmin. Wow, we just lost two more. Oh my god. Alright, 11 blues. Thank god the boss of this. He's dead. Come on. He is so dead. He is, you are so dead. And watch. He's gone. Forever. Forever alone. And gone. Okay him again same battle as before just a little bit more difficult because you don't have his our purples to hurt him but you know pretty easy all in all especially since I was daring and lost like a lot of Pikmin like 17 Pikmin whatever whatever we don't need them for the boss of this hole of heroes memorable gyro block it is memorable it is lemon flavored Alright, Del Deeper. Oh. Whatever, we're starting to lose more Pikmin, but we're still sticking in strong. And I think I'm going to try to battle the boss in this episode, guys, because of the fact that there's going to be Emperor Ball Blacks here, aren't there? Oh, here we go. No, Valta. Uh, Dweevil Central! Okay. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a sub-level where there's going to be a lot of dweevils. Which, there's actually multiple ways you can do this, but he'll go running off into the water where I can't hurt him, so... Um... How should I do this? Uh, we have a red in here. Two, actually. So we have thir 14 purples, okay. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. You don't want to die. Neither do I. <laughs> stun him. Stun him. Hurt him. Okay. He is super. This should be a moderate, easy sub level. If I can, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I can actually just punch them to death, and if we had Olimar here, it'd go a lot faster. So, he can't hurt me if I get out of there before he can use his attack. Wait. Am I, like, on top of the treasure or something? Oh! 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 Hi! Oh! <laughs> My throat hurts! Oh! Oh, jeez! You right before our boss who is your in your family. Yeah, I know, I know. And that is sick. That's just sick. Come here! I'm punching you! Oh, I had to break the treasure off, I forgot. Don't you dare pick that up! You will not pick me. You will hit me, okay. I like how I can hit them and yet like I'm nowhere near them. He can make his little poop all he wants to. Uh, I'm gonna end up battling this guy with, um, with blues. Sorry, man, I couldn't, I didn't know what I was talking about there. Uh, okay. Stop running! Your little girl for running! Jeez! Stop it! Caustic Dweevilness! Now, for all of you who care about BD Longlegs, because we've fought him before, um, I truly think this is a really stupid placement for dweevils, but whatever. Can you squash him, please? Kill your own kind. Be sick like they are. Put their own kind on top of them. How does he put water in fight in, uh, Nintendo logic? Guess the animation works for anything as long as it works. Okay, as long as they don't move, I'll be able to do this fine. But unlike some, this 
person has to be freaking annoying and not die. Come here, Caustic. Caustic! Caustic! Why? What is with your kind? No, no! You know I'm gonna go get the Pikmin. You know I'm gonna do it. You know I am just gonna go... Hey! hey! Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Um... I could be doing this with Pikmin and stuff. I don't want to... Stop it! Oh my god, you are so sick. So sick. I have to punch you. I have to punch you. You're so sick. Come here. Okay, this is probably taking forever. Maybe I should... I'm probably... I'm gonna cut guys to where I have all these things killed. And stop picking that up, you sick! Ah! Cutting, right now. Alright. Come here. There are 11 Pikmin. I swear, if I lose all my blue Pikmin on this sub-level, there is going to be hell for you, PD. Hell! Come here, come here. We're gonna stick underneath you. Because we feel the need to. Come here. Ooh, they almost just got stomped on. Okay, BD Long, like, same battle as before. He's the Arachnorb species, for all of you who care. Kind of like, just like the Man at Legs. Surprisingly, actually, the Man at Legs is only found in the... In this, the whole of heroes and the subterranean complex, which is weird because the fact that I can throw Pikmin without even caring. The fact that um, being in the Arachnorb species makes him part of the family of these guys, which I always kind of found cool, is how all of them actually. You're gonna figure out that the boss is actually another Arachnorb. That's why they included the men at legs and BD long legs in here because they felt like dicks. Um, no. It's because they all, when they're about to die, they all either um, start steaming like BD Longlegus is on his little knee there, or they start melting apart. So, yeah. I always kind of found that interesting about the Arachnorm species, because it's kind of more like metallic type spe species, not Arachnorb. I wouldn't call them Arachnorb more than I would um, that, but you know, whatever. I'm not the freaking game developer. And I swear, I swear to holy God that looks up above me if this is more than THANK you. I was going to say, that's more than the amount that I can carry. I'm going to kill someone. Twice. I'm going to reincarnate them and then kill them again. But it's Cherry Gyro Block we're getting back right now. Oh. We're on 18 minute episode again. Probably longer based on how long it takes me to battle the boss. The reason I'm saying that is because... Depending on how long it takes me to battle the boss in the next floor, I don't really know. I can't do much. Like, with the day? Because it's the end of the day, practically, where I entered the Hole of Heroes. No, it's the middle of the day. Yeah, the middle of the day, I entered the Hole of Heroes. So, I don't know. I don't know, maybe we'll just... No, I'm not getting it off here. We're gonna do this! Alright. Time for him the raging guy I'm about to lose it, guys. So you know what? I've had enough of this shit with my computer. All right? I am about to freak, okay? My stupid computer is acting like a gay little tard wiener, and I am ready to go kill the boss! We are not going to risk anything 
This sub-level has a lot of stuff on it. We have jelly floats. By the way, if you haven't noticed, they're kind of annoying. So, we gotta kill them. We're not losing three purple Pikmin. Come on! Please! You know, you can kill them all you want, but we're gonna smack you with our face, because we feel the need to. K, K, K! Jeez! Man, my computer is just so stupid! I wanna kill it! Now, be careful, do not walk into the middle of the arena. Alright, we're gonna drag him away so that we can fight him. Successfully. Alright, so, let's just spot a jelly floats, and then spot a jelly floats. On this sub-level, take care of them first, because the boss ain't gonna be fun to deal with. I'm being careful. I don't want to walk right into where he's going to land. To kick, to take care of him fast, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him, okay? It's as easy as that. Alright? Because, you know what, guys? I am so pissed with this computer. I don't know what the frick is wrong, but it's not doing what I want it to. So, die. Alright, die. I don't care how cool your death sequence is. Just die. Alright, I've had the frick enough today. Yep, yep, die, die. That's what I say. Just die. Really? Right before the boss. Really? You had to do that. Thank you. Get away. Get out of my life forever. Now, alright, the boss, as we're gonna see here in a second. Let's walk out into the middle of the arena. We have the biggest feet in the land, even bigger than Bigfoot! Raging long legs. Now, raging long legs. Not a pushover! As you can see, he is massive. So what I'd suggest, throwing Pikmin up on him, taking them off, and running. Cause you piss him off, he will regenerate health. So, throw your Pikmin up on them, on him, when he gets ready to shake them off quickly get out of the way cuz he will rage and his feet are huge so that does not help the fact that that he is an easy boss he is not he's a moderately easy boss depending on how you battle him so you're gonna want to get out of the way before he rages hardcore so he is a moderately easy boss depending on how you fight him Actually, no. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting, Purple Pikmin. Quickly, quickly. Now, his feet are so big because what the game developers are trying to get at is that he will crush your Pikmin if he rages. So, yeah. Be careful. Really careful. You can stick underneath him. is a somewhat safe spot to stick. Alright, let's get out of here. Moderately easy boss. He is not the most difficult boss in the game, at the least. So, uh, computer has just really got me on the edge. I'm like, right there. Alright, end of this boss. He cracks open like one of the things from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. <laughs> Alright, and speaking of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, we have the Rob Head. Which is actually some sort of, some, uh, trivia, trivial pursuit, no, some, not trivia, but a fact about Rob's head is the fact that it's not actually a robot's head, it was actually from, like, a kid's meal or something, I don't have the confirmed evidence of that, but it was from, like, a, from, like, a kid's meal or something, which is weird, I guess, depending on how you want to look at it, but that's why he was so fat. He was carrying Rob's head inside of him. 250 Pocos. Remember it, old buddy? Remember me, old buddy? Alright. Almost the longest dungeon in the game. Now finished. Ah. Oh. 
I don't even know. I don't know what to say. This is just pissing me off. At the least. Cave complete. And then Olimar's dead too, so that does not help. But we finished the dungeon without him, so... Finally, we can save and breathe. For about five seconds before we get back into this for a while. Ugh. Okay. Breather done. Olimar! Stop planking! Nobody likes a planker! Why is he planking on the ground, Olimar? Only people who have no lives who do that! Kinda like coding, which my friend actually told me about today. And for all of you who don't know what coning is, what you do is you basically go to McDonald's or something and you take some somebody's cone, or you order a cone, and then when you get to the to the drive-by window, what you gotta do is you gotta grab the cone, not the cone, but you gotta grab the ice cream on the cone, flip the cone over, let the cone, or, and then take it and drive away. Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know who comes up with this stuff. I thought we killed you. We'll kill you again. We have full health now, too, so we can beat him up all we want. And never mind, he can beat us up all he wants. Uh, okay, this over here is... In a second, once I break these, see if we get any treasures. We did! And our potion is in the cutscene, and there's the egg right next to it. Perhaps you will find Louie in here, and yet, my CPU is on edge. Ludicrous dangers await. Beasts lurk at the bottom of the deepest, darkest, most foul, sinister, horribly vile pit! Do you still wish to enter? Of course you do. Courage is our true treasure. Yeah, but courage doesn't come at a cost! I'm just kidding. Alright. So, as we look here. The Dream Den. There are 21 treasures. Now, for some very odd reason, that doesn't add up to 201. That is because... It does! Dun dun dun! Uh... Let me think. I think it does, yeah, whatever. Um, anyway. Dream Den. This is going to be the final dungeon that we're going to be doing on the 22nd. Not today. You know what? We have a full day to wait, to waste, to do whatever we want with. We're starting it today. So, I don't exactly know what I'm going to be doing for the finale, guys, of Pikmin 2. I do know is all that I'm going to be most likely end up recording the whole dungeon of Pik of the Dream Den, or it could be in multiple parts. I don't know. I'm going to see what I have to do, or what I should do more like it. Maybe I'll get your guys' input, because the video might not be out until a while from now. So, for all of you guys who care... Actually, no, we have to go tomorrow. Ah! What am I thinking? We're gonna end the day off. Yes, we are gonna end the day off because we gotta have Olimar with us. I mean, it just kind of suits him. I'm going into completely wrong ones now. Put my Pikmin in. This is almost a 30 minute episode here. But I'm gonna have like 8 minutes of, of it cut off because of the fact that my stupid computer wasn't working. So, all Pikmin are now gone. Our second last day of the Wistful Wild. Now we'll end by us going to sunset. Yes! I told you I'd be doing that. With only the Prez and his Hitler stash. Oh, my stop planking! Wake up, God damn it! I'm not sure if he. Why would he be asleep if he got killed? I mean. He's definitely sleeping! He's laying dead on the ground! Are you awake, son? Are you? Are you? Gatling Girl, I guess you! Yield! I told you to yield, Gatling Girl, if you don't listen to me. Flying through the trees like a badass, 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 badass. -na 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 -na. Can't wait to see how much gigabytes this stupid episode is gonna be. Probably around three gigabytes. Whatever. Now I wanna look at something. 
So you notice all the gyro blocks here, fond gyro block, memorable gyro block, lost gyro block, favorite gyro block, and treasure gyro block. I think the red is cherry, lemon, lime, uh, grape, I want to say, for favorite gyro block, and treasure gyro block is probably mint. But yeah, that's all that we collected today, 2,209 Pokos, which is a lot. So, we went down one. Uh, we went down in every single Pikmin count. Why? Yeah, my Z isn't working. I gotta get that fixed. Look at his eyes. I'm sorry. Look at him getting a ton of mail from a strange person selling designer items at cut rate prices. It sounds like a deal. Should I send them your bonus check? Of course! Sell them my bonus for things that are probably crappy and will break in two minutes. Kind of like McDonald's toys. All right. Now, sitting here, the final time we're ever going to be on the screen besides at the start of the next episode. We went over this last episode. Valley Repose complete. Awakening Wood complete. Flexing Pool complete. And now the Wistful Wild, the final dungeon, the Dream Den. As usual, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time for the final day in Pikmin 2.